Okay, folks, I'm kind of on my own today. I thought I would um, do a pot roast video for you. Tony is working at a job site. So we're gonna do it in our crock pot. Our, we use this thing all the time. You've seen some other videos where we've used our crock pot. Uh, and I do use the crock pot brand. Um, and I have, um, for this chuck roast, let's see, we have a beef chuck roast boneless. And um, this one, you can see the weight there, 2.11 pounds. And it's got a good marbling inside. I like for it to have a good marbling, um, for the fat to just work through this meat as it's cooking. And some other ingredients that I use, and this is, let's see, golden mushroom soup from Campbell's. And we've got some carrots, and I do use the baby carrots. And some potatoes. I may not use all of these, maybe about half of what you see right there and I will cut them like in half. One good size onion, and it looks like I've got about two cloves of garlic, that is fresh garlic, and a stick of butter. So let me just get all this chopped up and I'll show you how it looks, and I'll show you how we sear the meat before we put it in the crock pot. And um, we'll get to that step in just a second. So I've melted the butter, or the butter, but the butter's melting in a nice saucepan. And I did put a little garlic powder on the roast, so and also some salt and pepper. So that's on one side, and then when I put it in the pan, I'll sprinkle it on the other side as well, just to your taste. So just salt and pepper each side of the roast, and you're gonna sear it in this wonderful butter. I've chopped up my onions, and chopped up my garlic, and I'm gonna add the garlic to the butter. And so I'll show you the roast searing here in just a second. Here's the roast searing. On one side, it'll start really cooking here in just a second. I'm adding pepper and some salt to the other side. A little bit more garlic, and that's just if you want that. I like a little garlic too. There we go. And so I turned it over, and I'm only doing that for about not even a minute, hardly. Um, so around a minute, 45 seconds on each side. If you're, if you're a person that's about time, what you're doing is you're just putting a little brown color on the outside of the roast. That's all you're doing. And we're gonna transfer this to the crock pot. So we're gonna let this simmer, like our steam, or <laughs> I can't even talk, uh, saute on this side. It's been going now for about 28 seconds. So here's the roast in the crock pot, and I just put it in there and poured the butter that was left on top and it was, um, it's a little brown on each side. So now I'm gonna add the carrots and potatoes, I've rinsed those off, and the onion, and the two cans of golden mushroom soup, and then I'll probably fill each of these cans with some water and pour that in as well. And um, also I forgot to tell you, this is in the morning. I'm doing this first thing in the morning. You could do this before you went to work, and when you get home, you've got an awesome dinner waiting for you. So let me get those ingredients in there again. Carrots, potatoes, onions chopped up, two cans of mushroom soup, golden mushroom, not just mushroom, golden. And I do use the Campbell's brand because um, it's just one of the best for this golden mushroom soup. And we seared the chuck roast in its own butter juices or with butter juices and garlic and we put it in the pot. And I'm gonna cook it for about eight hours and it'll be ready for my dinner this evening. So let me show you um, it with all the ingredients in, okay? So there's the roast inside at the bottom, onions, carrots, and I did cut the potatoes in half. So now I'm gonna add the two cans of golden mushroom soup. And also, um, I'm gonna fill each of these cans with water and pour that in as well and cook it for eight hours. So there it is with the mushroom soup added and two cans of water. And I'm gonna put the top on, and let's go ahead and set it here. We want it to cook along the low setting, so at eight hours, because I really want it to be nice and tender. Sorry about my fingers in the video. Tony's not here again to <laughs> do the video for me. So let's get the top and put it on, okay? So there we go. And we should have a nice dinner in about eight hours and I'll show you the end product, okay? Okay, folks, I just wanted to give you some progress here on our 
um, pot roast in the crock pot. It has two hours and 43 minutes to go. You can still see it's still only eight hours here. And in that two hours and 43, this will go to this warm, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look here. Oh, and this little, I never noticed that before. <laughs> I never use it, but it shows you travel temperatures. This is a very hot pot right now. So let's take a look. You're not supposed to open these. You can actually buy crock pots now that will um, stir. Um, they have a piece here on the top and every once in a while it'll do a little stir for you. But I'm, I don't have a crock pot quite that advanced yet. But just to give you some progress, it's looking pretty good. And the next little clip will show what it looks like on the plate. The um, pot roast has cooked for eight hours and the crock pot is now on warm. I also made some rice. You can make some mashed potatoes if you like, or it does have potatoes in the roast, or you could do um, some steamed rice. And let's take a look at the pot roast. So, has some nice juices. You can thicken that up if you like, but there's, everything's cooked really nice. And here's the actual roast right there. And it's, you can just, it's like cutting like with butter. It just, and it smells, makes the whole house just smell wonderful. And this is it plated. I went ahead and got some out. And guess who we have here who hasn't been here all day? We have Tony. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> so it come smells, on, Mr. Rand. It smells fantastic. He's going to show you how it cuts really good after being, after an eight hour cook. Take well, a look at I that. I don't even think you need to cut it. It just like pulls apart. It this just is, pulls apart. Every time Nikki cooks stuff like this, man, it's just fantastic. I got to say, I'm, I'm really blessed with an awesome wife that can cook some great Southern style food. So, yeah, that doesn't even, I don't even need a knife for that. I'm just, I'll just, that's just great. So he's going to, and I did put it in a bowl, folks, because we we're going to put some juices on it. Well, we so. eat in bowls all the time. Yeah, we like to so, eat out of bowls. So, you just try it. Tell us, tell us how it tastes. Oh, okay. You got it. See, now, did we buy this from some specific, specific I, place? Ingles, oops, sorry. I'm doing this on my phone. Oh, man. Ingles Grocery Store. It's always the best. I'll put a little bit of my pepper powder on there because I got a sort of special pepper powder I like. It likes it spicy. But that is really awesome. Man, it is great. So say your famous last line. Well, peace to all. Subscribe to the channel. Cook some food. Eat it. Eat and be happy. And uh, thanks, Nikki, for doing this for me. Love you, baby. All right. Y'all have a great evening or day.